All right. So I'm not sure. Oh, the reason being, uh, the $160,000 is the you know, is the uh, share, uh, one-time revenue from the trust fund right. that was set up the last two years. In 2012, there was no one-time revenue from okay. the trust fund. Yeah, that's not really. Yeah, that's not the real revenues that are coming in. That's. It's the revenue revenues. How are we doing? It's gone down. Oh, the revenues have gone down in in, in the last year, and and, and there's a multiple reasons for it going down uh, one of them is the, is the is the market but the the other one is that uh, in all honesty be, between personnel and equipment it's it's been difficult uh, if you look at uh, you know because we used it before if you look at the actual budget for 2010 versus uh, the you know the actual budget for this year just in manpower alone we lost three people when we made the cuts back in 10 so we're really on a, a, a tight tight you know, if somebody stays out, somebody gets hurt, somebody gets sick, and that we sometimes have to go do what we call single stream, and that does yeah. cut into the revenue. But we've developed some plans where we're going to try and avoid that. Uh, single result. stream means it all gets right. smushed that together. Everything's going in the same thing. And, and, and smushed. Instead of getting, uh, you know, 70 or $80 a ton for paper, you know, you're going to get 25 right. for the combined. Smushed. So uh, we've addressed that because we felt that uh, – you know, there was just some better ways of avoiding it, which we, you know, will bring to council. Some of it is, uh, you know, maybe avoiding picking up certain areas uh, that are no longer uh, viable for us. They're not worth picking up recycling in areas that we're not really required to, that we, we did it, uh, you know, we did it as a convenience to the people we picked it up for. But it actually cost us money by comparison than, than the revenue we make off of it. So, but we'll be, I'll, you know, that's going to come back to you in a, in a package outside the budget, but uh, it's something that you'll have to kind of go over and consider. Uh, but recycling it, itself is, is, it's a lean department. It's, it's you, you know, you, you just, we couldn't go with another person less. Uh, we have some, un, what well, we refer to it as uncompensated time, but it's terminally. We have two retirements coming up this year. Do you have a sense of percentage of compliance with recycling? We're we're running about forty percent right now uh, of the uh, of the total waste. Uh, that's actually a good number if you look at it uh, on a, on, on a town wide basis. Based in the county, we're actually one of the higher ones. Oh. It's, it's stayed around. right now. We've gotten up. We we've, we go we'll go between thirty nine and forty to you know forty one maybe at, even at thirty eight, and it just pretty much has been stable there. We, we we have been unable even with you know some of our uh, efforts uh, you know and flyers and everything to kind of get that increased. Uh, it's just we seem to be at that right now. It it is, feels like we're maximized, but I, I know we can do better. That's a total waste. Right? Yes. But what do you think the compliance in terms of? Uh, I I don't I don't I'm not not that I I do know that that you know if the guys hear too much tinkling they they leave it or if they know that is recycling in it that they don't take it. Uh, I also think that. Uh, and this is go goes to the capital end of it, and, and, and I appreciate the the, uh, the efforts of the, the, the council in, in funding some of the capital because our garbage, our, our, comp our pack of trucks were really, really probably some of the oldest vehicles in the fleet. And in the last couple of years, you've, you've funded some new vehicles. So I expect that will also cut into the uh, downtime, uh, uh, you know, funding the new vehicles. Uh, we'll cut into the single stream parts because a lot of times if, if a truck was down and because we try and operate some of the routes with one man you know just one man right. truck so so they're a pretty it's a pretty lean operation and and a I expect that uh, 
next year with some of the changes that we propose, I, it certainly will happen this year. But going into 2015, I really expect that we'll we'll have some savings in, in, in labor and, and and I think some increases in revenue. So I, I got a. We know that there's going to be some improvements coming here, even with this, this small crew we got. But we think we can. It, it's. We. I'm pretty sure it's going to work out well. Yard waste. Uh, the, the big issue in yard waste, and, and just the, turning it right out here, is, is, is going to be the disposal fees. Right. Uh, DEP has been uh, extremely, extremely uh, tough on us down there, even though they, they say we run a good facility, and, and by all means, uh, have, they have used it in some of the classes that they, they've taught. Uh, they, they, there are pictures of it, and used to be pictures of it in some of their flyers, but they will not let us process grass, and, and if... Uh, if we're if we have to go outside again this is something that maybe we may be be beneficial to work with the county on but we've had to you know we've kind of gotten by with we asked for 32,000 and John does his magic to try and make that number work or even come in less but this year because of the rigidity of, of DEP and, and and I mean they have limited our wind rows limited our processing in, in addition to uh, now that we're a class B and C facility our feet you know they, they're even more intent on, on, on watching us. So we've had to put a, a realistic number in for disposal fees, but hopefully we can we can cut into that uh, working with the county, and, and I think Roberta, yeah, I mean, has, I have done, a to Roberta has been really helpful in, 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 in keeping that, that door open, and we're going to really look into it because the facility, you know, it, it's, not gonna, it's not that far away. And so, yeah, so I have a call. I mean... We keep on exchanging phone calls, but this thirty-two thousand that becomes sixty-five thousand could actually go below thirty-two thousand if, in fact, which is what we spoke about. If, in fact, the county opens its green grass dumping, whatever it's called, um, in time, um, and that could save us some money. So, Heather and I were at that session where we heard about it. Um, so we have a po we have a possibility here. It, it could.